In today's video, we are going to create this interactive menu to navigate to any slide we want during our presentations. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have created a very simple presentation for today. And the first step to get started will be to add an empty slide to my project. So um, while being on the Home tab, let's click on this icon we have here that says New Slide. And this will automatically add a new slide to our project. We are going to remove the default content because we don't need it. Okay. And now we are going to add a small rectangle over here. Okay. So let me modify the size because probably, well, first the location of this rectangle will be this one. And I want it to be a little smaller because I want it to match the design of my presentation. So I think this size is good. And now I need to modify the color. So let me go to this other slide and probably I will use this color we have over here. So let me copy this element. We are going to paste it here. Um, right click on the rectangle, go to format shape. And here you will have this menu on the right. Um, go to fill, open the fill sub menu you have here. Go to the color palette, select the eyedropper and go to the color you want for your rectangle. So click on it. And here you have the color assigned. Now I need to remove also the outline because I don't want that blue outline there. So let me remove it. No outline. Perfect. And the next step will be to add an icon to our uh, rectangle. So let's go to insert icon. And here we're going to type something like menu, for example. Okay, we're going to choose this one. Insert. Let's modify the size a little bit. Okay, and we're going to place it here. Now, while having the rectangle selected, zoom in so we can work comfortably. And now we're going to do two things here. First, we're going to modify the color. I personally don't want this to be black, so I'm going to change the color to gray. Probably this gray is good. And now I will convert this to shape. This is to separate the elements inside the icon. Okay, so once I click there, I will have three separate bars instead of a single icon. Okay, so right click on the icon and now go to convert to shape. Now, as you can see, the icon has been decomposed to its elements. Okay, we are going to remove the bar in the center. We're going to change the order here. Well, not the order, but the position of the bars. Uh, so they look like a smaller uh, menu icon. Okay, so pretty good. And now I'm gonna add a text here, which is basically the menu title. I'm gonna modify the color of this menu as well. Gray, it's okay. And now I'm gonna change the font type. Um, I like this one. Okay, pretty good. Now look at this. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna add the menu elements okay, to our menu. So let's copy paste this rectangle a couple times. You need as many rectangles as slides you have on your presentation. So I have four slides in my presentation. Okay, one, two, three, four. So I need four extra rectangles. Okay, pretty good. And now I'm gonna modify the color of my menu elements. I want them to be gray. Okay, so let's modify the feel. Okay, and see what I'm gonna do. I will select, I will create like a gradient, okay, of gray colors here from a darker gray to a lighter gray to make my menu look um, less flat, okay? I don't want it to be like boring, you know? Okay, so as you can see now we have a gradient here and now we're gonna add the titles, okay? So let's copy this text over here and this will be the titles of our menu. So this will be a slide one, it is really important that you make the titles of your menu elements the same color of your background because now when we apply the animations, those titles are supposed to disappear. And if they are not the same color of your background, you will need to add extra animations to make the menu look good. And that is something we, do, we don't want to do because it's more work that is completely unnecessary. So just make sure that the text inside your menu elements is the same color as your background. Okay, so we have here slide one. Okay, this will be slide two. And now we have here finally slide four. Okay, so now I'm going to modify the size of these titles. Probably this, uh, this is okay being 50. 15, I mean, something like that. 
and now see what we're gonna do we're gonna select every element and its corresponding text and we are gonna create groups so select the element and the title you added to it right click on both and click on group this is just to make it easy to move the elements in a way that I'm gonna show you in a second so make sure you have them grouped okay now look at what we are gonna do here uh, let me zoom out a little bit and now what I'm gonna do is to copy everything okay and paste it over here okay now what we are gonna do is to move the elements in a certain order look at this select just the elements the menu elements okay and while holding shift move the elements a little bit to the left until the right edge of the of, of the elements is in the middle of the menu title you see so we're gonna do exactly the same we're gonna repeat the process with all the menu elements okay so and now we are gonna also modify the position of these um, bars to make them look like a letter X that we are gonna use as an indicator that the menu is opened or closed okay so this will be menu closed and this will be menu open so let's zoom in a little bit and let's modify the rotation of these elements to make them look like an X there you go now we have two versions of our menu one version is showing the menu when it is open and the other version is gonna show the menu when it is closed the next step to make this work is to duplicate every slide you have on your presentation you need two versions of every slide one version is the one you're gonna show to your audience and the other version the copy is the one you're gonna use just for the purpose of the menu animation okay so let's duplicate every slide here okay all of these will make sense in a second so please be patient and now what we're gonna do is to um, add links to our menu because we want it to be interactive right we are gonna link only the original slides to our menu okay do not link the copies just link the originals so we have here slide one okay so um, click twice so you can select a rectangle of your menu element then right click go to link then click on insert link and make sure you are inside this option that says place in this document now you just need to add links to your original slides okay so the first menu element will go to slide one click ok now look at this the second element click twice remember click twice to select the rectangle go to link insert link make sure you are here place in this document and the second element will go to slide three okay not slide two because slide two is the duplicate of the slide one okay now the next element will be linked to slide five and the final element will take us to slide seven now look at the next step copy um, the second version of our menu make sure you copy everything and paste it on every original slide move it to the position to the final position you want for your menu and to make sure that your menu appears on the exact same position for every slide copy everything again using ctrl c and go to every single original slide and paste the menu so it looks good you see okay now we're gonna paste it over here only on the original uh slides not the duplicates not the copies okay so the next one will be this one okay and now look at this we are gonna add a link from the original slide from each original slide to the duplicate okay so click on the uh, menu title and the rectangle specifically right click link insert link make sure you are in place in this document add a link to the duplicate of the current slide okay so we're gonna add this link here we're gonna also add a link here to this will be to slide four so this one goes to slide six okay and the last one goes to slide eight pretty good okay awesome now let's copy this version of the menu copy everything make sure you copy all the elements and paste them over here on the duplicates okay so one here the next one over here third one here and the last one here 
And by the way, don't you worry about the links because when you copy the original element, this has links assigned. As you can see um, here, we have the edit link option. This is because a link was already assigned to this element. And when you copy the, um, the original element, you are copying the links as well. So if, you, if we go here, for example, and select this rectangle, you see here that we have a link assigned to it. So don't you worry about that. As long as you have linked everything fine on the first element, um, you will get those links copied on the rest um, of the slides. Okay, so don't you worry about that. Now look at this. To make this work properly, we need these elements to disappear, okay? The audience is not supposed to see these elements in this position. So what we're gonna do is to make them transparent. So make sure you select all the elements inside your menu, go to Shape Fill and select No Fill. And as you can see, the elements have disappeared. And this is the reason why I told you a couple minutes ago that the text is supposed to be the same color as the background. So we don't have to worry about making the text disappear. Also, a quick recommendation I'm gonna give you while having the elements selected is to block them to avoid any accidental clicks during the presentation. And how do you do that? Well, it is real simple. While being on the Home tab here, go to Select and open the Selection pane. And now that we have this selected, we have them highlighted over here. All you need to do is to click on this lock here to make sure that you will not be able to move those elements or click on them during the presentation, you see? So I cannot modify the position or the size of these elements and that is beneficial to avoid any accidental clicks. Also, another thing that I recommend you to do is to send all these elements to back, okay? So right click on them and send to back while having them selected. Click here, send to back, that's it. Okay, so repeat the process with all the, uh, with the rest of the menus. And once you're done, the only thing we're missing here is to add the animation to make it work. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is to add a transition between the slides, a special type of transition that will help us to complete the effect. And that is the morph transition. So click here on the transitions menu and select morph. Also, I have found that changing the duration to one second is beneficial. This is absolutely optional. You decide how long you want uh, the uh, animation to take to complete. But I have found that one second is perfect. So that is the duration I'm going to use. So what I'm, what I'm doing here is just adding the more transition between slides, and modifying the duration to be one second. And once we are done, the only missing step will be to open the presentation to verify that everything is working properly. So let's go back to the first slide here and open the presentation. And now whenever I click on the menu title here, the menu gets opened, the icon transforms itself into an X showing that the menu has been opened. And now I can click on any of the elements I have here inside the menu and navigate to the corresponding slide easily. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video. Take care and see you next time.